Hello guys, welcome to Football Manager 2020, a new team and tactics guide. Today we are in Greece and we are looking at Olympiakos. We are going to check everything about this great Greek club. We are going to check training facilities, finances, team dynamics, best players, what kind of tactic best used to this team and who to sign. So let's start from the training facilities. Olympiakos has really nice facilities. Training facilities are 15, youth facilities 16, junior coaching 14, youth recruitment is great 19 and corporate facilities are 14. Maybe we need to invest a little bit in youth facilities and training facilities when you get some money, yeah. Okay, we see that they have nice stadium capacity around 32,000. Now let's check finances. Finances are not that great. Transfer budget around 1 million. Wage budget is much better. Uh, 544,000 per week. That's good. And there is another great thing. There are no debt and no loans. Uh, now let's check club vision. What the board is expecting from us. Uh, to play attacking football, possession football. Okay, to develop uh, players using the club's youth system. Entertaining football. And to sign high reputation players. That's going to be hard because we really have poor transfer budget. Okay. Uh, the most important to work with a wage budget to win the Greek Super League. That's the most important. In the last two years, Olympiakos didn't win the title, so this is very important. Okay, then Ch Champions League to reach the group stage. So some nice challenges, but Olympiakos has a really great team. Okay, uh, we see that in the next couple of years, our board is expecting from us uh, to win the Greek Super League. Now let's check team dynamics. So we can see that there are three team leaders. One of them is Vasilis Torosidis, 34 years old, full back. Uh, then next is uh, Avram Papadopoulos, also 34 years old, uh, central defender. And Kostas Fortunis, the best player of Olympiakos, but I'm very sad because he has terrible injury. And that's a big problem for Olympiakos, yeah. We have a couple of players with a high influence. But uh, when Torosidis and Papadopoulos retire, we are going to have problems with team leaders. We really need more players with a high influence. Okay, now let's check all the players and their current and potential abilities. And we can see that the best player at Olympiakos is Kostas Fortunis with a current ability 140. But there is one big problem. He's badly injured and he's uh, coming back after 8 to 10 months. That's uh, really terrible. I'm really sad about this thing. Uh, he's a really great player. We see that he can play as attack in midfield, also sometimes on the wing. Great dribbling, first touch technique, flair, vision, yeah. And plus he's a team leader. Uh, then next uh, is Ruben Semedo, ball playing defender, Portuguese. Really good player, uh, current ability 135. Then Guilherme, Brazilian deep line playmaker. Some nice passing skills, team player, teamwork 17, work rate 16. Okay. Uh, then we have Matthew Valbuena, player with a big experience, a nice advanced playmaker, fantastic passive technique and passing skills. Okay, then Daniel Podens, after Fortunis, this is my favorite player, fantastic Portuguese winger, great dribbling, first touch technique, nice passing speed. He has everything that winger needs to have, yeah, fantastic winger, really. Uh, then we have goalkeeper Jose Sa. He's not bad. Uh, Yusuf El Arabi. He's playing really great in real life, scoring a lot of goals. Uh, nice, interesting striker. The only problem is that he's 32, yeah? Then we have uh, Omar El Abdeloui. Uh, a really nice wing back, can cover almost whole right side. Uh, his current ability 130. Then we have Bruno Gaspar, Angolian. He's on loan from uh, Sporting. Kostas Simikas is there, Greek uh, wing back. He can cover left side, yeah. Really nice crossing, dribbling, some nice marking, tackling technique. Very nice determination, nice speed. Very interesting left back. Okay, then we have uh, Yasine, Sudani, ball playing defender. Then Sudani, uh, he's 31. He was playing for Dinamo Zagreb, very interesting striker. Okay, and uh, now let's see, do we have some young players uh, with a high potential? Let's check that. And first on that list is Svetozar Marko, he's Serbian central defender, he's only 19 years old. Potential ability 157, that's really awesome. So he must get uh, some minutes in the first team if you want to develop him. Uh, he has also very good current ability, 110. Okay, and then we see that uh, we have Maximiliano Lovera, uh, Argentinian attacking midfielder. Fantastic technique, dribbling, very nice agility, great potential. Uh, 
146 uh, so also must play in first team at least some games yeah uh, the other players are not that young and don't have such great potential now we are looking at under 19 squad and we see that we have interesting kids there we, uh, the best is Kostas Solakis only 16 years old goalkeeper with a potential ability 143 uh, yes he is really a wonder kid nice goalkeeper then we have Christos Latsos uh, 15 years old a really great winger uh, nice passing very high determination uh, not bad acceleration for such a young player so uh, you must to take care about these players they have some nice potential and we have Angelos Tsaos uh, 17 years old full back with a potential ability 128 also Apostolos Martinez is not that bad full back uh, really good determination not bad physical attributes he's 18 years old with a potential ability 128 okay uh, now let's check uh, tactic and formation that I choose for Olympiakos Okay, so this would be my first team, and we'll play in this formation in 4-1-4-1 or 4-1-2-2-1. In attack, as a complete forward attacking duty, I, will, I would use Al Arabi. Then, left side Masuras as inside forward support duty, right side Podens as a winger attacking duty. Uh, then, Butsulakis as Mezala support duty, box to box Mithir Kamara, really fantastic player. Uh, he can play as ball winning Mithir too. Then behind them, Guilherme, Brazilian deep line playmaker. Some nice passing skills and plus uh, team player. Uh, left back, wing back, Tsimikas, right back, El Abdoulaye. Then pair of central defenders, ball playing defender, uh, Yasine Meraya and uh, Semedo as a normal central defender. Also can play as a ball playing defender. On the goal, of course, who else than Jose Sa. Uh, now I will show you some players that I would like to sign for Olympiakos. And as you know, we have only 1 million in our transfer budget. So this is my list of some free agents and some really cheap players that should help you in winning the Greek Super League. Okay, first on my list is Sekou Sanogo, Ivorian ball winning with a classy player and the best thing is that he's a free agent. But you really need to be fast because many clubs want to sign him. Then, and next is Fabio Coentrao. He can cover almost whole left side, can play in the middle. Another great free agent. Uh, then... Uh, Lucas Silva, Brazilian deep line playmaker, fantastic player, also free agent. Then uh, we have Te Teboko Mokoena, South African Mezala Central Mithra, price between 300 and 500 or 600, that's nothing. We have that money. And Lautaro Valenti, he's must buy because this player is very young and has incredible potential. His potential ability is 159, but also you really need to be fast because many clubs want to sign him. He's a real wunderkid and he's really cheap. Okay, then uh, Francisco Trincao, Portuguese winger, uh, also very cheap player, cheap wunderkid, player with a great potential ability, price between 1 and almost 3 million. And last on my list is Alvaro Barel, Argentinian winger, another great Argentinian who is not that expensive and who has really fantastic potential. Potential ability 145. Okay guys, so this was my team and tactics guide for Olympiakos. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you and bye bye.